Hi, I'm William Watley. I'm really excited to be bringing you a collection of educational tutorials of my cutting systems created with All Nutrient Professional. For our first tutorial, we're going to be showing you some amazing texturizing techniques and some awesome product cocktailing. And I have with me design team member Corey Martin, amazing hairdresser. Thank you. I'm super happy to be here today. What we want to show you guys is how to create two completely different haircuts, a short and a long haircut, using our condensed cutting system. There's going to be two cuts you're going to learn. One is a square long layer and one is an abstract A-line bob. So, the most important thing about zone cutting and sectioning is we've got to divide the head into two parts. 20% in front of the ear, 80% behind the ear. And then we'll section it into zone one, zone two, and zone three. Okay, so we've got our sectioning started. This is zone one, and how you find zone one is find the bottom of the occipital and go from ear to ear. That is zone one. We're gonna teach you how to go into zone two and zone three. Lay your comb on the flat of the head on the top of the head. Then as you round the head, it's gonna go flat again. That will determine where zone two is. So zone two goes all the way around the parietal of the head. And then zone three in the back 80% is left on the top of the head. So now you have zone one, two, and three in the back 80% of the section. And go ahead and attach your fringe into the top of zone three also. Whether it's long or short hair, we're gonna section off the hair the same way using zones one, two, and three. We're still gonna have 80% behind the ear and 20% in the front. This is the Sukasia. T22 razor shear. I love it. I can't do hair without it. So it allows you to do one or two thick compressed sections in one go. So on this haircut, I have used a little bit of Name That Stuff and the All Nutrient Mousse. Brand new packaging, new technology. Okay, let's get to it. Remember, this is condensed hair cutting. So we're going to take all three zones in the back 80% into one section and cut it off. You want to make sure you can see that there is an even cut all the way across. With the razor shears, you're going to see how soft this immediately makes an A-line in one compressed cut. Now I'm going to go into the front 20% with my Sukasia razor and a new technique using the razor with the Shine Plus Serum. You want to lay it on the back of your hand, just a couple of squirts, and I work it into the back of my hand, and then I'm going to take my razor and literally put some of the serum right on the blade. What this does is it goes through the hair like silk and it doesn't tear or rip any hair. I'm just going to find my guide from the back 80%. It's right there in front of you. That's why this technique and system works so well, is you go from guide to guide to guide. You'll never lose your guide with this cutting system. So now we're at zone three, which is basically the top of the head. So we're going to take a center part, blend that down into zone two, and cut. Very easily, you can see your guide from here to here. So I'm just gonna lay this right down by my mind's eye on this and just lightly blend that in. So now I've got all of my zones cut where I want them. What I need to do now with Nikki is get her dried so we can finish our cut with our dry cutting techniques. I've chosen to go with my Stacacia 7 inch shear because it allows me to cut a lot of hair at once. I'm pulling zone 1 down now to cut my desired length.
Moving to zone two is real simple. Pulling the hair straight out from the head and using zone one as my guide. Going into zone three, I want to reposition her head at a 45 degree angle to create movement. Taking a portion of zone two and pulling it into my zone three as a guide to cut. To create the rest of the layering of the haircut, taking a portion of my back 80%, I'll be using it as a guide to my front 20%. After sectioning my center part, I'll be creating my front fringe. Taking a quarter inch on both sides of the center part allows me to create my desired fringe length. By using this fringe guide, it allows you to connect the front to the sides without ever losing the guide. By using this technique, it allows you to blend the front to the sides without ever losing your fringe guide. Pull your front 20% into your guide and cut. So to dry Nikki's hair, I'm going to be using the All Nutrient Mousse and the Sculpt Plus. This is going to give me lift and body and not have the hair feel crispy at all. Okay, the last product I'm going to put on Nikki's hair is my go-to product for every haircut. This is the Shine Plus Serum. Guys, a little bit of this, two or three pumps, and again, emulsify it in your hands and you want to put it from mid-strand to ends. This will take away any frizzies, any flyaways, makes the hair super shiny. For blow drying her hair, I'll be cocktailing texture cream and the all nutrient mousse for texture, body, and shine. Now that I've dried the hair, I want to show you guys one of my favorite techniques using the razor. Everyone knows that sometimes cutting hair with a razor can create some damaged ends. We want to show you our signature way to use the Cicacia razor and our All Nutrient Serum to take out and remove hair without any damage. What a fun day. Oh my gosh. Not only did we get a great tutorial, but to see those girls just light up when we got to the strip and all the attention that they got. What a blast we had. It was amazing. For that Vegas night out hair, all it took was a little bit of the all nutrient aerosol spray, the dry wax, and the shine serum plus. It'll last them all night long. Well, like with my girl, putting the texture cream and the mousse in there, she doesn't have to worry. She'll never have to worry about her hair being flat tonight, that's for sure. Not unless somebody else flattens it. <laughs> <laughs>